Welcome back to the channel. This is Gillis TV here, and today we got a couple PTO signings. Sorry, I haven't posted much in a little bit. I'm on night shift for a turnaround, and it's getting the better of me here. But today I got the courage to finally get up early, do a video. So, like I said, we got PTO signings today, but make sure you hit that subscribe button as we are on our way to a thousand subs. And thank you guys for all the support lately. Now, we're going to start with one of the two teams on your screen, the Ottawa Senators. The Senators are bringing back forward Derek Broussard on a PTO. Broussard played two seasons with the team, playing 139 games for them and registering 77 points for them in those 139 games. Perfect player to have on a PTO. Ottawa's done so good this offseason with the acquisitions they've made, the free agent signing, the trades they've done. Ottawa is a new team and should be feared, not highly, but feared in the Eastern Conference there as, you know, they finally got a goaltender in Cam Talbot who's been playing amazing in Minnesota. They bring in... Uh, Claude Giroux, they brought in Alex Dabrinkit. Like, this is a new looking Ottawa Senators team who's looking at that skill of Derek Broussard, who relatively in the last three years hasn't done that much, or sorry, hasn't put up points really in the last, I gotta say, since he left Ottawa in 14 games that season. He had eight points with Pittsburgh. When he left Ottawa in 40 games, he had 15 points in Pittsburgh. Then he went to Florida where he had 4-10. and 10. Uh, In that same season, he went to Colorado where he had 4 goals in 20 games. He played pretty well with the Islanders the year after that, though. In the 2019-2020 season, 32 points in 66 games. After that, kind of fell off again. 20-53, and 16-31. and 31. And also had three points in with Edmonton this season. Sorry, I was looking at a text there. So this is a good depth PTO by the Ottawa Senators where they're looking to just upgrade their third and fourth line. Broussard has had pretty good numbers playing for the Ottawa Senators in the previous seasons he was there. And could be that contributing factor to that third and fourth line. That Ottawa can be a threat with. Teams that win Stanley Cups have three lines. Ottawa's trying to look at that. Not saying they're a Stanley Cup contender this year. But they're building towards that. Just like Colorado did back in the day. Now we go on to the Edmonton Oilers. The second team on your screen here. They have signed defenseman Jason Demers to a PTO. Which... For me, after signing Ryan Murray to a contract, you're trying to bring in another right-handed shot. It's kind of a head-scratcher in a sense that right now we got Murray, Nurse, Bouchard, CC. Who did I say? Barry? I got all messed up there. But adding another defenseman on a PTO like Jason Demers, he's a great shutdown defenseman. Don't get me wrong. He's not going to put up the points as he has 214 in a 699 games, but he's a plus 31. That is coming from playing with San Jose, Dallas, and Arizona. He did play a year in Florida where he had 28 points. But he's coming from a team like that and is still a plus 31, where in Dallas, or in Florida, he was a minus 14. He did pretty well in Arizona as well and could be a really good signing for them into Northers. But like I said, on the back end, you got Murray, Nurse, Bouchard, Barry. You also have Cody Cece. You got Philip Prover coming up. So this move for them into Northers, if they do bring in Jason Demers, there has to be a trade coming. Is that a Tyson Berry trade? Is that a Warren Fogel trade? I know a lot of people lately have been saying 
hey, yes, the Pooley RV, but if there were deals on the table already for Pooley RV and or Fogel, don't you think Ken Holland would have pulled the trigger on it already just to relieve that cap space? You just got to think that, you know, there is a possibility that there is a Edmonton Oilers trade coming. And you know who's going to be first on that? Dolany TV for sure. But hey, this is just me rambling on as those two PTOs, Broussard, to the Ottawa Senators, Jason Demers, to the Edmonton Oilers as Edmonton is officially out of the Jake Vertanen sweepstakes. If you want to call it a sweepstake, you can. As there's plenty of other teams there, they kind of pulled out as they weren't just going to wait around to see what happens with Jake Vertanen. But like I said, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoy. Sorry for me mumbling on. It's been a couple days since I've done this. And I'm tired. I'm going back to bed since i got to start night shift here at 9 o'clock Mountain Time. You guys stay safe out there. I'll catch you on the next one.